Hey, hello everyone, this is Globe Skeptic. Thank you so much for being here. And this month, I'm going to do another trend following of the topic of Flat Earth and show you a few things that I discovered uh, using this fun little, fun little tool of Google. Now, as you know, um, January was a very big month for this topic, and it's breaking out, you know. Um, look at this, you know, partial data. We don't have the complete data for January, but compared to December, it's at least three times in terms of web search. So when people want to go on Google and they type in Flat Earth, that has triples uh, since December. Now, I discovered a few things that were interesting. So, so there's other thing. There's image search. Uh, in terms of Im image search, uh, there was a almost a double increase of people looking at the image. Um, we have, in terms of news, there wasn't any news about Flat Earth for the past eight years. You know, one tiny peak in 2013 and ever since April, it just had a constant flow of news related to Flat Earth. It started to come up on, in the news. And then, as you know, you know, with B.O.B. coming out and with his Twitter rant, um, that's just, you know, it broke the Internet. <laughs> um, and then we'll look at uh, YouTube search. And that was something I, 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 was, I wasn't able to quantify, saying, hey, okay, I, on YouTube, I know how this, this happens, but uh, I could see it, how much it attracted people. But now I, we can actually see it. You know that you know, on YouTube, since ever, there was barely any, inter any interest, and ever since January, it just keeps on going up. And in terms of YouTube alone, again, from December to January, almost double. Um, so it's, it's breaking the internet, literally. Now, what's going to be interesting is to look at Flat Earth compared to other topic, right? If it compared to itself, it may just be nothing. But let's look at, let's say, Neil deGrasse Tyson. While Neil deGrasse Tyson, compared to the Flat Earth, was always bigger, right? He's a he's the figurehead, um, he's the talking head of mainstream science. And actually, Flat Earth, for the first time in January, actually went over Neil deGrasse Tyson by eight points. Um, so maybe that's just before, uh, you know, geeks. Let's look at. What's a political philosophy like feminism, which is a lot of people talk about? Um, you know, they go in university, and let's look at what's the comparison between flat earth and feminism. And feminism is a little bit higher, but it's quite interesting to see, you know, they're all converging, and actually it's going into a full blown political view right as a as a the amount of interest that it generates so that was my my monthly trend following hope you enjoyed um and i can't wait to see the end of february seeing what's going to happen because it's going to be it's impossible now for the news to not cover it because other people are going to come out talking about it you know every time a new person looks it up and start questioning the the narrative that person will start talking with other people eventually and making maybe maybe making videos who know but this is going to be a very interesting year and i can't wait to do the next one thank you so much for listening leave your comment below and i'll see you on the next video